hello guys i am very excited to share with you this new tool called as beyond llm beyond llm really goes beyond llms and it allows you to do retrieval augmented generation plus it also enables you to evaluate the responses which you get after you run the retrieval augmented generation i believe in most of the tools this thing is always missing where you are unable to evaluate the responses of your retrieval augmented generation pipelines if you look at the very high level what exactly is this retrieval augmented generation or rag in rag you provide llms external data llm then makes more informed decision or response for you on the basis of its uh, your external data plus its own intelligence but you need to have some sort of evaluation where you could evaluate the response of llm and then once you are sure that the response is fine then you can put it in your production application so that is where i believe these tools like beyond llm really shine in this video we will be installing it locally and then we will also run our rag pipeline on our own custom data plus we will also be evaluating the response before we do that let me give a big shout out to mast compute who have very generously sponsored the virtual machine and a very very high quality gpu card for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu i would highly recommend them i will drop their link in video's description plus i will also put a coupon code which if you would use you would get 50 percent discount on already very discounted prices on gpus highly recommended very very high quality offering they have and once that's done let's go to our um, beyond llm so beyond llm is as i said it is an open source framework designed to streamline the development of rag and llm applications complete with evaluations and you don't have to write like pages and pages or uh, war and peace novel for this beyond llm you can simply use five to seven lines of code and you are done you can not only use open ais model but you can use it with olama which we will be using and once we can use with olama that opens up like thousands hundreds of large language models in rag what happens is that you take your own data maybe a text file or whatever pdf file you chunk that pdf file into smaller pieces and then you convert those chunks into numerical representations called as embeddings or vectors then you store those embeddings and vectors into um, a vector store and those embeddings are created through an embedding model and then once they are stored in the vector store then from there a similarity search is run and then that similar um, response as per your prompt is augmented and then it is given to the llm now in this whole pipeline in this whole flow we need two models one is an embedding model which converts your embeddings from your chunks and then the other one is your actual llm which generates an ai answer for this one we will be using both open source from hugging face and i will also shortly show you but as i said you can not only use it with open source you can use it with open ai and there are a lot of other providers which you can use for vector store you can go with chroma with pinecone and i think there are few other options too so there is a lot of flexibility available for this tool and i'm very very uh, impressed by the way they are going hopefully they will keep it open source because this is awesome and building a user interface on top of it is also quite easy with gradio or even your own custom one okay enough talk let me take you to my local vm where i am running ubuntu 22.04 and my gpu card is this nvidia rt x a6000 with 48 gpu of vram again both of them have been sponsored by mast compute so again huge shout out to them let me clear the screen the first step as i always do i always install my conda environment to keep everything separate from my uh, local installation and this is a conda version i have if you don't have it i would I uh, request you to search the channel and you will find a video on as how to install Conda. Let me clear the screen and I am just creating this Conda environment with beyond LLM. So let me run it. Okay, so it says that it already exists because I was playing around with it. You know what? Let me 
remove that and then I'm just going to do it all in front of you so that you would also know what it happening so I'm just removing that beyond LLM okay what did I do there we'll just remove that Conda remove dash n this should work okay so this will be removed uh, any second that's done let's clear the screen and now let me <clears throat> create it now it is going to create it just press y here and that should be done now now let's step into that virtual environment by activating it and you can see it is available in the parenthesis let's clear the screen now we need to install few of the prerequisites like we of course we would need to install beyond llm by doing pip install beyond llm it would take too long because it will be present in my cache even if it is not it's not that uh, huge so it should be good fairly soon so let's wait for it to finish so beyond llm is done next let's also install this embedding hugging face because this is from where we will be downloading and using our hugging face model so that should be done fairly quickly and that is done too and finally let's install olama this is the olama's package it is not exactly installing the olama if you don't know how to install olama i already have done heaps of videos just search with olama and let me show you quickly that olama is running here you see that with olama i already have this llama 3 mistral and moon dream and i'm going to use this mistral with this let me clear the screen so all the prerequisites are installed by now and now let's start running it so i'm going to launch my python interpreter for it first up let's specify the source so for the source which i'm what i'm going to do i'm just going to use this fit function from beyond llm and i will provide it a pdf file which contains my own data that just tells me who is Fahad mirza what where i live what i do for work uh, in my ai youtube and all that stuff and that file is on my local system my pdf.pdf of course you can use your own pdf file doc file text file whatever you like so let me specify this now you see that i am specifying this source source refers to the origin of rack pipeline so this is the first step where you provide your source of data and then this fit function just transforms it for usability it loads the data chunks it makes it proper in order to be used further and there are a lot of sources as i mentioned it could be your web page your files your youtube videos even you can leverage the power of llama parse and a lot of other stuff okay so that is done now as i mentioned earlier second step in this case is always that you load the data you chunk it which we already have done with this fit function next up what we need to do we, we need to convert this data into numerical representations or embeddings or vectors all three words for same so for that i am importing this hugging face embedding library and i am going to specify the one of the very famous and commonly used embedding model bge small en so i have already specified it as you can see and then let's grab auto retriever retriever are essential components and beyond llm they are responsible for efficiently fetching relevant information from the knowledge based on the user queries so you give it a prompt it converts it just takes that prompt go to your embeddings and search for similar embedding and then return the information and so um, that is primarily what it is called similarity search okay so we have imported the retriever now let's define the retriever on our data by using that embedding model so you see i'm giving it it my data i'm specifying my embedding model i am just telling it that okay top case the top similar results in very very high level words just return me that and i'm just using the normal retriever there are different kinds of retrievers but let's not get into it at the moment you can just check it out on their uh, github repo which i will drop the link in video's description so you see we have specified our source data we have specified our embeddings 
we have specified our retriever so rag pipeline is just going beautifully well now we need to specify our actual large language model for answering uh, and for that i'm just getting this olama model from beyond llm let's define our local model and if you are using any other model because you see i am using mistral if you are using llama 3 or any other model just use that one so i have defined my mistral let's give it a user prompt so i'm just asking it who is Fahad mirza now you know that mistral won't be aware of me so it is going to check out my uh, pdf file which we have already given it so in system prompt you can specify your own but i'm just going to go with the normal one that you are an ai assistant okay now as a final step for this rack pipeline generation we are just going to use a generator the generator is designed to generate responses so let's import the generator and then put it in our rack pipeline let me show you quickly this is our pipeline so we are simply using this generate function we are giving it user prompt system prompt our LLM which we have defined as mistral and retriever which has our embeddings so it is working on that pipeline let's wait for it to come back that is done and now let's print the response there you go it has just told me who the Fahad Mirza is so this is all from my PDF file which we which uh, I gave it to this model you see how beautiful this beyond LLM is I'm very very impressed by this tool by the way okay but as I mentioned earlier that not only it does inference but it also does let me show you the evaluation so we have built it we have experimented with it and now in the third step we need to evaluate it and then we can keep repeating until we get the result back so let's see how can we do the evaluation with it let's go back here now for the evaluation um, this evaluates the relevance of the llm responses to the user's queries and primarily what happens is that the effectiveness of a rag pipeline is assessed through four key evaluation benchmarks context relevance answer relevance groundedness and ground truth and each benchmark uses a scoring range from 0 to 10 10 means it's, it's awesome and then closer to 10 means really good and then 0 means it couldn't find it so let's first check the context relevancy and in order to check it all you need to do is to let me press enter this command that get context relevancy you see it says context relevancy is 10 this response meets the evolution threshold it demonstrates strong comprehension and coherence that it was able to find it so and this determines the efficiency of the auto retriever in fetching contextually relevant information ensuring that the foundation for generating responses is solid and you see it is solid next up you can also get the answer relevancy which means that it is assessing the llm's ability to generate useful and appropriate answers again the score is then that it really meets the evaluation threshold amazing and then you can also get the groundedness which determines the extent to which language models are resp responses are grounded in the information retrieved by the auto retriever and that uh, ensures that the output are based on factual information that's where there you go so it's grounded score is also 10 amazing and if you don't want to run them separately you can just simply use the rag try it from the pipeline and it is going to run all three of them together and gives you the response there you go one two three all of the contextual groundedness and your question answer relevancy how good is that so you see that how easy beyond llm makes to create a full end-to-end -end rack pipeline your own custom data locally privately with local models you don't have to worry about api calls or anything like that plus not only that you can also evaluate the answers on the basis of your own data and another example i just wanted to show you quickly that how good is that that for example if i give it a user prompt like happiness is an elusive notion and then uh, i just passed it through pipeline it generated a context but when i ran that uh, rag try it let me run it for you again you see it is going to evaluate the response 
now that happiness is an elusive notion has nothing to do with the pdf file which i provided to answer so you see it says context relevancy nothing so it's zero and then because the and then next one is that answers coherence is well enough because if you go up you see the response of llm from its own intelligence about happiness is quite well it is very very well coherent it's not gibberish so that is why this score is well but it is not grounded at all in my pdf file that is why it has given it a very low score but this is what i was talking about that okay, sorry i couldn't uh, let me show you now sorry i was in the other screen i will go up again my apologies so you see that what i have done here is i'll go up i just gave it a user prompt like this passed it and this has nothing to do with my pdf file then it has given it this response which i just ran for you you see there is no context so score is zero answer is quite coherent if i just take you up you see the answer of happiness is quite well so that is why it has given it a 10 score but it is not grounded at all in the um, pdf file so that is why it's very very low so this is why what you need to do you need to improve your prompt you need to improve your data and then that is what this repeat thing is so you repeat once you get start getting the score like 10 close to 9 8 then your pipeline is well enough this is why i am re really impressed by this tool that not only it lets you build an end-to-end easily a rack pipeline but you can evaluate it and improve it because it's a continuous uh, improvement so i hope that you enjoyed it also i wanted to request you that if you want to support the channel there is a um, few options you can use or in the video description like you can donate um, some uh, you know uh, you know you can buy me a coffee you can even book a calendly meeting or you can just uh, for one on one advisory you can go to mass compute rent the gpu and there are a lot of other stuff so thank you so much for all your support if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching